you know, this is definitely an overdue video. Uh, I think a lot of you are going to probably enjoy this. Um, it's probably going to be about 15, 20 minutes, but if you're ever bored, you know, come back and finish it. If you don't finish it or want to watch it or you're bored or uh, probably one of the better videos on this channel that I ever can make. Um, kind of reflecting, going back to my first videos. And for anyone out there that wants to start a YouTube channel, the one thing I'll say is definitely this is more of a streaming channel than it is an actual YouTube video, uh, like channel. And maybe I should have went Twitch, like for a better audience, for people that like want to watch streams more, they go on Twitch. But I still will always believe that on Twitch, you cannot go back in the stream. So like, if you want to rewatch a play, and like, I know there are ways to have like stream playbacks or the pro streamers, like they have ways to do it. But like, if you guys want to do it on your own terms, being able to rewatch a sports game, like a fumble or a pick or a sack, going back to see previous plays from the user point of view and the viewer point of view is very important. So, and also Twitch is more for the money as it is, but Going to YouTube, one thing I will say is YouTube Shorts is the way to get more views on paper. And the reason why YouTube Shorts gets more views is it's more, it's just easier for the viewer to watch. There's short attention spans, there's less ads. Um, also, when you log on your phone for the first time on YouTube, like when you open the app, YouTube Shorts pop up first so it also gives them a head start to getting views um like a random video it doesn't even phase you anymore brady it's a silly little video it's literally 10 seconds long wow two thousand views now imagine if it was actually a better video or imagine if it was more of a lucrative video right like my best one i think is nine thousand or whatever that's because it was kind of a, a hype up game brown Steelers. A lot of likes, it's pumped up, it was a great game, Nick Chubb got hurt, sadly, whatever. But you're gonna see, typically, growing YouTube channels, the best way to do it is YouTube Shorts. I probably should consider making more Shorts from like, you know, Madden 24 Shorts. But honestly, making Shorts not that easy as you would think. Um, it's gotta be like, you know, you know, well edited, it's gotta be like a shorter video, it's gotta be this or that edited. And for me, the one thing I'll say in my YouTube channel is editing is my least favorite part of the YouTube part. I'm not really an artistic person. I may be funny or entertaining or outgoing, but doing a lot of the computer stuff and the editing and, you know, add a sound here, add a sound there, add a clip art, this, I don't really enjoy that. And I think that really comes down to the video's number one thing is do what you want to in this world. You know, I mean, for me, we started all the way back here. All I do is go to live. We go to date, uh, filter by the date. Uh, where is it? Where's the date? Uh, am I able to do date? Oh, here we go. So the first ever stream. Oh my gosh. It actually got 200 views. Not bad. Uh, Pocket has said giveaway on it, but 17. Well, I guarantee you people went back and they they scrolled all the way down to my channel and they wanted to see this as well. Now, Battlelands, I remember that. First of all, this was actually, this was going into senior year for me. So I was going into senior year. Oh God, I don't even know if I want to see that Fortnite stream. Um. So yeah, like, let's just see this. Mutt 18 giveaway. And oh my God, dude. Well, first of all, there, there's no face cam. We, we got to go to the first like face cam one because that was just me talking in a mic. Um, Life is Strange is a good game. So here's the first ever face cam. And I actually remember this like it was yesterday, dude. So like the Madden 19, I was a senior. It was August. School didn't start yet. It was early August release. Okay. Um, But I remember like my power went out. So this was like the first Dude, are you kidding me? So like my my internet was cutting out. Like it wasn't even a quality. I, I had a bad mic. Yo man, team. What's up, man? We got the face cam here. Um Oh god, dude, look at me, dude. Holy, oh, look at me pointing. Like, yeah, look, look, look at that. Look at that young, savage kid right there, dude. I love Coach K, man. Dude, look at that right there, man. 
Success, you've unlocked the Hall of Fame upgrade contact, dude. If I didn't unlock that, I don't know why I'd be here, dude. Guys, make sure you, sh wait, can, can anyone hear me good? Can anyone hear me good? Yeah, so I mean, obviously, you know, the. Uh, oh God, Ricky. Yeah, Ricky, man, he's a true G, bro. That's why he is a mod on the channel. Ricky does not join us anymore that much, but Ricky, he definitely was an OG back in 2018, 2019. I streamed all the time and all that stuff. But dude, I mean, the one thing I'll say, dude, is just, you know, we probably had like five views, you know, and like, obviously now we kind of got things up. I mean, let's go to like some head to head stuff. Um, I don't understand this though. Like, why do we jump? Why do we jump from September to like November and then December? Here's Mutt 19 Weekend League. Let's just see what Weekend League's about in this stream. Oh, God. I gotta set up where I wanna go though. Yo, man, YouTube Nation, what's going on? It's Matt Candy, of course. Yo, what the hell is this? All right, cool. Never see that in me. Oh, God. Look at me being cringe, bro. Are you kidding me? YouTube critic. I'll never forget when he was on my channel all the time, Jake. Yep. I mean, like, there's a lot of people that I remember that were OGs on this channel. And, you know, just to think, like, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, like, like 63. So Ultimate kickoff. Yeah, back when that was a promo, right? Oh my gosh. Sebastian. Oh, God. So, are we good? Um, I don't know why, but I think Antonio Brown cannot have Playmaker. Um, yeah, that Russell Wilson card was pretty badass. Power-ups, Tyree Kill. Remember that Tyree Kill card? So, Jason Peters was a BND, left tackle, harvest. Um, if he can, I might put it on there later. Um, Obviously, we're NMS. You fit well in my scheme. Let's just see some of the plays I ran. Kevin Green went down in price a lot. Draw McCoy. That card went, went hard. Cover three. Deep seams. User, the, user this guy right here. Okay. I mean, you can just tell that we were a lot worse. Give me a fumble, man. Are you kidding me? Time out. Dude, the the uh, the uh, smart crowd mentioned that I called timeout get the ball back first half. But, like, dude... The one thing I'll say is, like, it just shows you that, like, in the last five years, how much better we got. We do play every day, besides the summer. Summertime, I play a little bit, whatever. But, like, we play almost every day for, like, an hour or two. So, like, if we really knew the cheese So, stuff, you, like, like, pass him in the zone. Is that how good Kikui is, man? I, I respect you, Kikui. I, I really ran. Am. I ran a lot of pistol. Son of boys, I dare you. Let's run the ball. Matt, don't get fancy, Matt. Yeah, so, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, dude, like, it just shows you, man, like, Weekend League was hype. Like, I would probably say, like, that was probably one of my favorite parts of the old streams is the Weekend League was a big deal. Like, it came out once every weekend, and, like, this is why I already feel a little bit old because it's part of the video, it's reacting and whatever, but, like, you know, just thinking about like even Journey, right? Journey, Gauntlet, Hollow Souls, you know, like they're, 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 you know, there's so many things, but especially Weekend League, where it's like those streams were hype. Like it was Friday night. It used to be Friday night legitly. And I, I think it was Madden 20 or maybe it was Mutt 19, but I think it was uh, 20 to be fair, where they really started Thursday night Weekend League. And when Weekend League started, it just made those streams just really, 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 really awesome because it was hype. Like, it was honestly uh, hype. Um, here's the Blitz promo. No money spent. We probably got a lot of views for this. Holy crap, dude. Because if it is, I'm done. 79 views. Are you kidding me? I'm you don't see a point anti boo Tyreek kills gonna be really OP. Dude, this quality is horrible, bro. I don't even know how I got that many views. He like he like he's gonna have plus three speed if you power him up. Alright. Night skins too, you know, that's all pay to win. Um I mean, hey, you wanna look cool in the field? Yeah, give me your give me your credit card. Okay, that's really all I've been. Oh. That 
that was a nice move. Jeez. And that was to win the game. Oh, oh, that's a solo challenge. Come on, Matt. K1 short. I remember him DT. Yeah, I mean, dude, I mean, we, you know, we had a lot of views, dude. You know, I mean, you know, senior year, we definitely blew up a little bit. You know, that's, but like, see how, like, see how, like, now, of course, it was the Blitz. So Blitz got a lot of views, buzzword, kind of like Harvest or uh, Christmas promo or launch night. But like we started, you know, if I go back to our first couple of streams here, um, where was it? Um, some, you know, back here with some first streams or whatever, we had like, you know, like right here, like, you know, this, this episode one stream, like this is when the game released, the game just released. And we literally barely had any views in there, like, like 10, 20 views or whatever. So like. It just shows you, dude, that like when you start off with YouTube, like, and obviously I could do a way better job even today, but like, you know, it just shows you that like you have to start off small. And then I feel like we did get a lot of views. And then the biggest problem with this YouTube channel, if you guys know or not, we did kind of quit. You know, we, we literally went to college. I quit twice. There were some immature moments where I retired back in high school, whatever. Mm -hmm. And like, obviously I was immature, you know, like I do regret that we probably lost at least 15%, 20% of our audience because of that. Um, no one wants to watch someone that's like, oh, I quit mad and not like I'm done Bye, guys, you know, like that's probably my biggest regret. Um, but aside from that, like we definitely did get better in, ter in terms of like, you know, you know, you know, like using our computer software, our face cam and videos. If I go to videos here and I go to uh, buy date here. Let's go to my first ever video here. Uh, Madden Mobile. Like I like I like I remember like I remember like like getting a hundred views was a big deal for me. Like back then. Um MLB the show, I never really played that. Um Madden Overdrive. Oh yeah, that was for uh Madden Mobile. Um I mean also for me. If I'm going to be honest with you, I also feel like there are way, 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 way more content creators. I remember making this one, Des Bryant to the Browns. There was some hype about that at the end of his career. And I remember it was summertime. summertime I was visiting colleges. Going into senior year, I was on a vacation visiting colleges then. Um, level rewards, now that's kind of like the season rewards, whatever. Uh, but like, just go to like a video, right? Like, like, like this one got 600 views. Best way to get Team Diamonds. All right, YouTube Nation, so what's going on? It's my candy course. It's actually August 2nd, actually a Thursday night for you guys. Um, I do. I mean, like the voice is pretty good. It's quick talking, but it's still somewhat crisp. I wanna say, first of all, guys, I'm really sorry because um, it is my second year of YouTube, five years of Mutt now. Um, this is a new- Now we're on 10 years of Mutt. Jeez. Um, EA Access, and it cost me five bucks. It was honestly a waste of five bucks because- Jack Mott singer on Snapchat. That's a nostalgic, nostalgic little Snapchat notification there have like 85 overall teams and we'll have 75 overall teams. It's going to be no fun. It's, it's, it's going to be no fun in the weekend league the first week. Okay? It's like a monopoly. These Yeah, so I mean, dude, like honestly looking back and what are my big takeaways and all that stuff? I mean, dude, I think the problem is is we, we obviously retired like twice. And when you do that, it's kind of like the Browns when they literally left their city. Like the Browns literally left their city. They went to be the Cleveland Colts or something. Like, I don't know if you guys know that or not, but the Browns, they literally left their own city and they went to like some other city. I think it was the Colts or whatever, whatever. Maybe it was the Ravens. I, I don't even remember, dude. Okay. I don't even really know my own team's history. That's pretty bad, right? But like the Browns came back to Cleveland in 1999 and like you wonder why they lost a lot of fan base because you literally left their own city, right? And I think my big, and you know, all you gotta do is look up retirement. I mean, it's not really that hard. Like I, I, like, I, I literally retired like several times. I, like maybe like two times, like right there, retirement. 
retirement, retirement, retirement. I quit like three times, four times, one, two, three, four. And like, you know, to be fair, well, one of them was an April Fool's joke, I think. But like, so probably three times, dude. Like three times we just quit. And like, to be fair, I think there's some fairness to it because Madden is bad. Like, it's very toxic. It's very, it's very mental. Like, there's a big part of me where, and again, it's, you know, it, it definitely is immature. Like, you should not just say, I quit. I'm done. Bye, guys. Like, and I feel like that kind of ruined my, my real chance of, like, really blowing up. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I still think everything happens for a reason. I'm still appreciative of, you know, everyone who still follows me today. Um, you know, and people who have been with me for these last five years. Um, a lot of people have come and gone and it is what it is. And really, I think it's also Madden, you know, Madden I thought about this today versus other YouTube shorts, you know, like for example, like this little YouTube short, it's a little funny video, right? Doesn't even phase you anymore, Brady. You know, many views, right? If I made, you know, funny videos, if I made life videos, if I made vlog videos, that's going to get more views than Madden football because Madden football, why the hell would you care about, for example, videos? Let's go to date. Why would you watch the Genki team boosts, okay? Why would you watch that video if you don't play Ultimate Team? Like, you're going to be lost. So, like, my content is really only designed, not only for NMS people, but, but also just, like, really mutt strategists. Like, even if you like Madden, you're not going to watch me for franchise fans. So, like, it is a small window of like a community and the you know the reach out the global perspective like you're only gonna really watch me if you're madden related and even if you are madden related in the community there's so many mad madden people to pick from and i think i started at a good time like five six years ago my biggest regret is i wish i started even earlier um and definitely didn't retire as much um but like i said guys like this is just completely off the record and whatever like if i'm being dead honest with you guys like i really do want to grow up i want to be a principal possibly a superintendent like i really want to grow and just make my career as prosperous as i can and i know if i teach my entire life i could do a youtube i could coach sports i could do this club could do that but this is just personal talk like you you know you only live once i want to have the best job i can i want to better myself every day i want to do this and that and like i'm telling you right now unless i really blew it up unless i really made it a possible like part-time job where i mean like right now i make some money but it's like food money or groceries money or get gas money it's nothing really great but like if i were to really blow it up maybe i would just be a teacher or whatever but like I'm the kind of person where like, I do want to better myself. I want to get a better education, get a master's, maybe PhD, whatever. And like, when you have that mindset and that lifestyle with your career, you can't do YouTube forever. You know, I'm not going to be a principal of a high school or principal of this and streaming Madden at night. I'm not going to have parents from like, Hey, you're the principal, principal of my kid. Like, dude, like I know maybe there's probably someone out there that does it, but it's not really appropriate for that. So like for me, I feel like, again, everything happens for a reason. I do think that I could have done a lot better job in my YouTube career as a reflection. Um, but again, like, it's not like I really went into it thinking, like, I want to make this a job. You know, I want to make this, you know, it, like, this has been part of my life and it's been a big part of my life, but it's just more of a hobby than it is, like, actually, like, trying to make it into something more than that. You know, like, and again, I think I had a chance to, you know, I had a chance to be well, you know, well, you know, well over 10K by now. But I think that we took actions, we took decisions that really hurt my channel. 
um, in like in that business kind of way. And that's what happens when you're young and dumb. You know, even though you're 18 years old, like you still make dumb choices. And, you know, to be fair to to be fair, when you are in college and college is kind of tough for some people, you know, I took college seriously. You know, I got great grades, got me a good job right now. And like, I really have no regret, you know, spending a lot of time in my college classes and my college fun and my friends and, you know, going out, doing this. And, you know, when you are, I mean, COVID obviously happened. That's no excuse to play video games. But like, aside from the COVID excuse, like when you're in college, like you kind of want to be in college too. Like you don't want to be, you know, doing YouTube all the time. Um, So like, there are pros and cons of that. But I do think my biggest regret though was, retiring several times um but aside from that dude like you know thumbnails can be a lot better other things but you know all in all you know youtube's tough um and the video here 20 minute video here whatever like you know being a content you know you know people think it's easy you know it's definitely not easy you know being a mic and talking you know for so many minutes so many seconds talking to people I will say in God's honest truth, though, sometimes I have a stuttering problem. And so I think the best part about YouTube was practicing my public speaking in terms of like being fluent and whatever. So that was really good. And also my pace of tone and my pace of voice. Um, filler words like um, uh, whatever. It's all good press for me for my career. And... I just think overall, it's just a lot harder than you think. You know, if you really put a lot of time into it, like time, time, like again, editing, doing this, better thumbnails, you can grow a channel. You can, and probably do better than me, honestly. But we all know I'm a smart guy. We all know that I'm someone who has really great contributions to the NMS community and the MUT, MUT community. It's really more a matter of, look, if you watch my channel, you're going to get more knowledge and still entertainment but the videos might not be edited fun there might not be sound effects or better thumbnails or this that like you know youtube shorts i don't use that feature which really has my channel and stuff so like you know like you get i don't know man it's just it's a lot harder than you think um but i do think looking back bare minimum i have memories forever as long as Google won't go out of business, I will be able to always look back at these memories. And that's really all you have in life is memories. And so, you know, no, you know, no matter what, I'm just very pleased to have been part of this YouTube channel. And no matter what happens in my life, you know, whether I do go on and be a principal or do this, do that, like, and I do end my channel or whatever, um, I still enjoyed every second. And even though I did rage, even though I was immature and I retired and whatever, like, I was young and stupid. Like, what do you expect? You know, like, so that's all I got, man. So we'll go from there. If you ever want to do a YouTube channel, go ahead and do it. Good luck. I wish you the best. Um, you know, life is getting tougher and tougher. You know, people are understanding more of the cheat codes and this, that, this, that. And so it's not that easy just to, you know, set it up and get a million followers or set it up and even get a thousand followers. You know, like you gotta, there's gotta be something about you that's unique, something about your content that's good or unique. And I think definitely I am a unique person. I, you know, I do have a weird personality or whatever. And, I, you know, that helps, that, that has helped me to get a support of people who, you know, kind of like that part of me. But, you know, you gotta have something that, you know, on your channel that you just, you know, at least in today's world, because it's just so diluted now of so many channels to watch. And so I really do appreciate everyone who's watching. So we'll go from there. Take care. Peace.